Hello everyone. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today should be Vlogmas day eight. We just got back from a very quick walk because I only have a, like a really skinny tank top on under this hoodie and the wind was cutting through this hoodie. Like this is like a good hoodie, it's warm, but it's like 52 degrees outside and really windy and this was not enough. Like I needed like a long sleeve underneath this. So we went for a quick walk. It was like literally 10 minutes. Came back home. I just finished filming one day of Vlogmas. I'm about to start filming the baking, the cookie baking um, day, which is Vlogmas day seven. So this should be Vlogmas day eight. Yeah, this is Vlogmas day eight. Um, so it's only 9.30. It's still pretty early in the morning. Um, like I said, we went for our walk, so we already had our coffee. I'm gonna make myself breakfast here in a minute um, because I am I am pretty hungry and I just uploaded more footage so that I can start editing to have to like get myself ahead Tyler was supposed to tattoo all day today, but his client ended up rescheduling his appointment So instead he's going to work on the backsplash So I think he said he's going to grout the whole side that he already did so you guys will be able to see a little bit of that I'm gonna package up a couple of orders. I think I'm gonna do a Campaign for TikTok that I have to do for Anna Luisa. Probably gonna do that and I have to send it in for approval. So it'll be some sort of jewelry video. Not every day is super exciting. I think I'm gonna put our comforter in the wash. Um, it probably seems like I wash our bedding so much because I do. Usually like twice a week because we just have a lot of animals. And so to constantly just keep up with the maintenance of keeping our stuff clean. I clean a lot. I'm always cleaning, I'm always sweeping, I'm always mopping, I'm always straightening up because these animals don't respect me. So yeah, I don't know what I wanna make for breakfast today. I am probably gonna do something with eggs because that's just usually what I end up doing. Because I do have a, I do have chopped bell peppers and onions, so I feel like that's just an easy, it's just easy in these tortillas. And it tastes good and it's super satisfying and you know all the things and that's just what we want and i feel like i've been eating a lot healthier kind of in a like a deficit a calorie deficit and i've been feeling really freaking good because i'm just eating way more veggies way more protein lots more fruits i'm not cutting anything out mm -mm. not over here on this channel we do not restrict ourselves i will not ever talk about not eating carbs or not eating sugar or not eating this or not eating that how are we going to live our whole lives without ever eating rice again or sugar the whole goal always and forever is just to eat better add more veggies to your meals eat healthy carbs eat healthy fats it's so simple and we as humans complicate it like i'm measuring my butter because why not i want to see how much but i'm not ever going to restrict myself i restricted myself so many years all of my 20s a lot of my 30s and it is just such a terrible way to live i'm always wanting to just make good decisions that i feel my healthiest but you're never gonna catch me ever talking about restricting a whole bunch of things unless it's for health issues as far as like cutting out gluten or like things like that or like an allergy there is absolutely no reason to be restricting yourself for anything and some bell peppers so yeah that's my spiel for the morning just eat better like if you're eating rice and beans and chicken add a vegetable add some broccoli add some avocado make yourself a tiny little side salad i feel like it's so much easier when you're if you're trying to be like, I don't know, healthier in your choices, instead of taking things away, like just add, cooking up my onions and bell peppers and I'm going to add two scrambled eggs. Well, I'm gonna add two eggs. I'm gonna use the carb counter large flour tortillas. These are really big, perfect for my burritos. I'm gonna add some avocado to it because we love avocado and I'm gonna add some cheese. I'm gonna do this cheese right here, it's the pepper jack from Aldi. Because we love cheese. Again, we're not restricting anything. But I definitely will say, it's been about a week. I haven't weighed, I don't even know where my scale is. I haven't weighed myself, I haven't, nothing. I did take pictures of myself to see just like, 
I feel like pictures are the best way to um, track progress and like really just how you're feeling overall because seeing changes in your body is so much more important than a number it really is so anyways <laughs> well i'm gonna make my breakfast and let me load this all the way i've been making this for the past couple of days i've made this so many times like, I love a breakfast burrito. I love a burrito in general. But I will show you guys how it comes together when I finish. <laughs> Is that what it smells like? Yeah. Vegetables? I mean, yeah. I made, it smells um, like onion. Yeah. Put our eggs. We get our bread on today. You guys heard the man. We're getting our grout on today. I have... My eggs, veggies, cheese in my burrito. And I just want to go back to the gas station. Dump this stuff. Whole bunch of bologna. Wrap her up. What a gorgeous, beefy. I made a mess. Cut her open. It's gonna look stunning. Look at that gorgeous breakfast burrito. This is 365 calories. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna eat. I'm hungry. You guys. Holy moly. Tyler just called me over. He's been doing this all morning. Oh my goodness. It looks... Yeah, it looks good. It came out good. Perfection. It's hard to see because the window's right here, but... That is stunning. There's like the before, after. Wow, the grout really changes the look of it. Like a lot, like that looks like subway tile. Mm. And then you come over here and it's. Oh, you start to clean the tiles a lot. Like keep wiping it down. Yeah. It's a little haziness, but. But it looks so beautiful. Stunning job. Thanks. Do you feel like it took a long time? What I just did? No, it's okay. just messy. I'm almost done editing the cooking or the cookie vlog. So what's up do with that? I'll tidy up the kitchen so that once you start doing this side, it'll be easy. Lovely job. It looks so good from over here. Like you can see it in this little, like even just look right here, like in the camera, you can see that side and this side. Mm -hmm. No, it looks finished. Like it looks, Right, yeah. Looks no, it looks good. So pretty. It is 11.55 and I am just now done editing. So I've uploaded two videos to YouTube so far. One of them is already live. One of them is going up tomorrow. And Leonard is driving me insane. Um, I'm about to strip my bed to put my comforter in the wash. Sorry, kiddies. Comforter is in the wash and I'm about to take a shower because I just want to shower. Feel fresh and clean and you know. The reason why we shower. Showered. Time for skincare. I'm using the little Polish Choice thing again. 
I don't change anything. I don't know if you guys have noticed at all. I am not uh, someone that tries new shit. At all. I feel like I went through that phase of my life when I worked at Sephora. I was always trying new stuff. And honestly, it's exhausting having so much shit all the time. Because really, we don't need that much stuff. And this is coming from someone who loves products, who loves skincare, hair care, makeup, clothes. It has really gotten to the point. I don't know if it's with age. I don't know what it is, but having so much of everything is honestly like crippling. Like it's too much. It's too much. We don't need that much stuff. I literally have my one moisturizer, my one facial oil, my one lip mask. My one shampoo, my one conditioner, one face wash. Like, why is everything so excessive? I want to wear like a comfy sweater today. Oh, I'm going to wear this today. I haven't worn this in a really long time because it's never cold. I got this on Amazon last year and I really like it. Put a little makeup on so I could feel cute. I didn't wear makeup yesterday. I kind of like do like... One day yes, one day no, one day yes, one day no. And I have it in a small and it's like the perfect oversized fit. And my phone is, so I'll be right back. Take this hair down. My hair is pretty much still done from yesterday. It looks like I put curls in it, but I didn't. I'll take it though. That is so distracting. <sighs> same old, same old. I wonder if I should do a favorites video during Vlogmas. I don't remember the last time I did a favorites video. Favorites. If I should do like specified to Amazon, if I should do specified to beauty. You guys let me know. I'd love to do a favorites. I don't do them often anymore because I don't change things enough to constantly change my favorites. But I haven't done one in a couple of months. Or should I just wait till the end of the year and do like my roundup of favorites with like every topic? I think I'm gonna do an Amazon one. <gasps> Bless you. Um, maybe I could do like an Amazon favorites and then for the end of the year when I do like everything, like my overall favorites, That'll include beauty, skincare, makeup, hair care, body care, clothes, like everything. Food. You guys know how I do. I always do food in my favorites. Nail colors. Oh shit, I broke the crumbs that are left of my bronzer. Ah. Let's put a little dry shampoo in this hair cause my hair is so oily very fast. I'm gonna do Skylar Vanilla Sky. I guess I'm just gonna refresh my entire head. I 
filmed a quick little video on TikTok for Anna Luisa that I need to edit and send over to them for approval. I switched out, put on my hoops. I'll leave my, I'll leave the link for Anna Luisa down below and my coupon code. Um, it's not a commission code or anything. It's just they gave me a coupon code to give to my following and community and all that. But almost everything is theirs. Anna Luisa, Anna Luisa. My number two pendant and necklace, like the chain is Anna Luisa. My little croissant. I have like the tiniest little croissant that my sister got me for my birthday. There we go. That is from Catbird. Um, this whole ear is Anna Luisa, aside from this chain, is from Amazon. And then this ring is Anna Luisa. And these two bracelets are, geez, what the hell happened here? These two bracelets are Anna Luisa. Um, let's check over and see what Tyler's doing. I'm about using this damn sponge. I spilled coffee grounds on it. Okay, I'm gonna do a time lapse of Tyler working on the ground. So, here it goes. Okay guys, he just finished this section. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Uh, he's putting on the outlet covers right now. What a difference. Look at that. Beautiful. Obsessed. The last part is just this little section and then the whole actual kitchen backsplash area is done. So good. It's lunchtime. Uh, look at how beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Oh. Okay, it's lunchtime. And I have leftover soup. Clutch. Leftover sopita. I also have yellow rice leftover from yesterday. I have grilled chicken leftover from yesterday. And there's a little bit of broccoli in here. So I'm gonna make something for Tyler after all of his hard work and efforts into making our house stunning and beautiful and perfect. Reheated chicken in the microwave is not the, the business. Half of this, because I know him. He's just here admiring his work. I'm looking for flaws. Actually, Don't do that. Well, that's what you do. No. I'm looking to see what I mess up. You didn't mess up. Do you still want to go up this? I'm, I'm not like against it. I'm just asking out of genuine curiosity. Yeah. I'm not against it, I just, uh... I'm definitely gonna paint it first. Yeah. So now, my job, which I just told him, and he's like, that's not my job, that's your job. I gotta figure out a runner rug situation for this kitchen. 
I want something very cozy because the vibe of this kitchen, I wanted it to be very cottage-like, like almost like it's a house up in like the mountains with hills, nothing but hills surrounding it. Like there's this like whole vision in my mind for it. So I want to keep the vibes very cozy. I don't want to go too modern. I don't want to go too country. I don't want to go too vintage. I want it to be just very warm and inviting and cozy. Like I want it to look like it always smells like someone's baking cookies, like that type of vibe. So for the runner, I feel like that will tie in a lot of things. So I want to make sure I do something like that. And then the counter stools, which I think I found some. I need to create like an entire mood board situation around it which I'll probably do that after I eat my lunch and just save that inspiration and that mood board for when we're ready to buy the next things. Uh-uh, back up. This is not for you. So, a little lunch for Tyler and he cannot eat big lunches or he will literally not eat for the rest of the day. Like, Tyler is very much like one meal a day. Two, if like he's feeling crazy. been a lot of hours um tyler went outside and did some yard work he was cleaning the pool leonard decided to help himself to freezing cold water in the pool he jumped in and it was 59 degrees then and the sun was still a little bit out so right now it's probably really cold and we decided we're gonna go to lake yola which if you're not familiar with orlando or like central florida lake yola is the lake that's downtown we used to walk to lake yola pretty much every single day when we lived downtown, we used to walk there a lot. It's where all of like the markets happen, um, parties, festivals, little things like that. And they have it completely decked out with Christmas lights. But first, because it's cold, I'm gonna make us hot chocolate. So Leonard's losing his shit. I have this that I bought from Home goods. What is this deal? Okay, this is Starbucks hot cocoa. Oh, I, didn't, I forgot we're boycotting Starbucks. Um, it says mix one cup of hot milk with two tablespoons of hot cocoa mix. So I'm gonna make this for us and we have these cute little cups. I usually buy these like cups like this every year. Um, are you gonna yak or what? Um, from Marshall's Home Goods, TJ Maxx. Like, I've had like so many different themes. Leonard is being ridiculous. I apologize. We're gonna have a festive evening, and it's gonna tire you out. Put more than two cups in there. There's a cup. It's a cup for two okay. tablespoons of cocoa. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a cup for you, a cup for me. Yeah, so I'm saying put more than two cups in there. Alright, so put more than two cups. So I'll take the extra. I like my milk. I know you like your milk. You guys, so somebody in one of the last vlogs, her I think her name is Bree. She said something so funny, and I told Tyler that that's now a part of like his personal brand. She was laughing at Tyler talking about the peas to Leonard, which if you missed that vlog, it was the vlog that I made soup that day. I made, I think it was Vlogmas Day 6. And she said another funny Tylerism, AKA like shit that Tyler does or says that's off the wall or just ridiculous. And I 
thought that was hilarious. So I told him, I was like, you're, you're like building your personal brand. Like you're starting to build your brand. So you guys already know milk. You guys see milk? I promise you, you're gonna start thinking of Tyler. Anytime you see a gallon of whole milk, there's just gonna be certain things that you start to notice. Like for me, like with the croissants, with my cups, my anthropology cups. One, two, I'm gonna do two and a half. I'm not limiting it. Nobody can limit your milk intake. Okay, so we're gonna let that get hot. I'm gonna grab my sneakers. Leonard needs his sweater. His father is fighting me on it. But we're gonna be by the water. It's gonna be colder. It's already like, I don't even know how many degrees it is right now. Probably like 55 degrees right now. So. We're gonna put Lenny's sweater on him. Are you excited? You see, you tell your papa you're so excited to wear your sweater. Come here, come here. Come, come here. Come here. Good boy. Well, come here. You're gonna go for a car ride and a walk. You're gonna do both in one day. I bought these, oh my god, when we lived in College Park. It's been years. Thankfully, I already have sweats on. I just have to put on like a hoodie on top of this because I definitely know it's going to be cold. And it was windy today, so okay, it's starting to get pretty hot. You do yours and then all. What? You do yours. No, that's not you. Can you please stop micromanaging me? <laughs> please. You did three cups of milk. That's why I was trying to make it eat an even measurement. Okay, so I'm gonna do three tablespoons. Two tablespoons per cup of milk, correct? No. Yes. Yeah. So exactly. six tablespoons. Oh no shit. Oh. Oh nothing. You're bothering. And it says tablespoon. I know that. Heaping. It doesn't say heaping. I like my shit chocolate. Okay. Tyler's literally so fucking rude. I literally try to do all these little special things and he just talks shit about them every time. With your dumb hat. Mm. Look at him. He's literally standing over my shoulder, guys, watching me like a hawk. Just making sure you're treating my milk right. How do I know when it's hot enough? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. When I was young and I used to make Ovaltine, because that was really what I used to drink, I would love like the clumps, when the clumps would foam up at the top. Oh, that was my favorite. Especially when there was cookies and cream, Nesquik. Oh my God, if you are a millennial and you remember cookies and cream, Nesquik, they like, I don't know what happened. They had it and then it was gone. And it was so, good and it had like chunks of like cookie in it and so when you made your chocolate milk and like the cookies rose to the top it would um it was like cookie crumbles oh my god it was so good okay i'm gonna do this over the stove because i'm scared i'm gonna Very old puffer 
from BNC. It's like years old, but it'll keep me nice and toasty. Tyler will leave every single light on and then wonder why our electricity bill is $400. It's actually banging. Oh, it's banging. You hear him, guys? Didn't try it yet? Clearly not. No, I was sorry. I was trying to get all of our shit and come out of the house. Can you, like, stop for a second so I can take the first sip? Mmm. Ooh, it is good. It's really good. You guys saw the way Leonard was acting right now. It's giving, it's giving three-year-old that, oh my God. It's giving three-year-old that never leaves his house. Like we have to, like, this is the path and we're all the way over here because he's losing his shit. Path is cute though. Oh, the worst, the worst. Tyler doesn't even have words. Somebody's smoking. It's a cigar. Yeah. Okay, we have a little bit more of a clear path with no dogs. So we got really funny pictures. I'm gonna insert them of this dog. We got some really funny pics. You wanna go that way? Oh, which way? This way. So fun fact, ye years ago, back when Tyler and I first met, one of his like pickup lines, I don't even wanna say pickup lines, but one of the lines that he used was that he was gonna be like my Noah from the notebook. And he was like, I can build you a house. Like that was one of his things, like talking about how he could build me a house. Granted, he didn't build me a house, but he's quite literally building my house right now. And he brought me here. We came here, we ate at a Mexican restaurant, and then we came here and he brought me to all the geese. There's like, or swans, yeah, I don't know what they are. Yeah, they're swans. And there were tons of them, just like when Noah and Ali are in the, um they must know. Look at this. Yeah, you can see them all here. Um and yeah, he brought me here as like our notebook moment. That's so cool. It's like vintage clothes and shit. All those white spots are birds. That's crazy. We're getting towards the end. We're rounding back to where we started. Okay, 
we're basically at the end. There were a lot of dogs over here and Leonard was losing his shit. So, we are back. Is there a dog in there? Wait, let's take a picture. All right, we're almost back to the car. Leonard is something. But I'm glad we got out of the house, did something cute, festive, because if not, we would have just been sitting on the couch anyway. Very bad dog, Leonard. Yeah, it's because we, well, you were wrestling a 100 pound dog. <laughs> oh. What happened? That's bad. Oh. So now we get to go home and I'm gonna make dinner and have a glass of wine because Leonard, that's just gonna be the hashtag of today's. Ah. <laughs> of today's, um, Thing. Uh, vlogmas. Hashtag Leonard. And look at him. Happy as a clam. Okay, I'll see you guys at home. Successful little evening. No. I'm going to end this vlog here so that I can get to editing. It's like 7.30, so we were out for about an hour and a half, which is a good amount of time. That was a good time to do something other than just sit on the couch. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next day of Vlogmas.